Today's battle is between the, the old English game rooster and the stoat. So, yeah. The rooster. The chicken. So, the rooster can be able to around. Okay. Okay. So, the rooster can be able to around six pounds. Wait, no, that's. Wait, what? Six pounds, yeah. While. And can be able to. Okay, no. So the so the old English game rooster can be up to around three to six pounds, and can be up to around one one and a half feet tall. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The stoat, on the other hand, can weigh up to around can be up to around a foot long. Can be weigh up to six to nine ounces. Yeah, that's it. That's a small mother screw, if you ask me. Stoats are from North America, while the old English game. Well, the old English game is from Britain. Okay, weapons. The old so the old English game is one of the most aggressive types of chickens out there, and their weapons are and they're used for cockfighting. Their weapons are beaks and talons. One well, of the stoats' weapons is the claws and jaws. And now stoats have a reputation for taking on stuff bigger than themselves. So yeah, that's kind of impressive, but still. Okay, let's fight. Ding, ding, ding. So we can see that the the chicken is just eating some seeds. <laughs> that, and the stoat is just looking for a distance. The stoat charges and bites the the neck of the chicken. The the, the, the old English game it starts squ squawking in pain and throws down the weasel. The weasel can then get stomped on by the heavier chicken. <laughs> well, the stoat is not giving up yet. He bites the leg of the rooster. The rooster shakes off the the weasel and starts pecking his head. The roost the weasel. Then dodges one of the pecks of the rooster and goes, go, climbs up the rooster and bites his neck. The rooster is getting annoyed and he's getting injured and he's losing blood. The rooster, the rooster then flies away. Wait, can can old English game fly? Okay, yeah, they can't fly. Old English game, the old English game that flies up to a tree branch and just throw, and then just shakes off the weasel. The weasel falls down but lands on the tree on a little stick, so he stays from there. The, the rooster then flies to another branch. God damn, this is gonna take a while. Three hours later, the rooster is re sleeping and the stoat has, and the stoat has finally reached the rooster. Bite. The rooster falls back, falls down onto the ground, but lands on the weasel. The weasel is getting injured and everything. And that's when the rooster decides to peck, peck and bite the freaking weasel's head. Yeah. This guy has no chill. Yeah. Anyways, the he the roost the rooster slams down the the weasel for some time and then throws him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The stoat just keeps biting the rooster, and the rooster then gives him a piece of its. M the, the the stoat gets up and runs away. The rooster has won, but he suffers a lot of injuries and then dies of blood loss days later. 
verdict. In a fight between an old English game rooster and a stoat, the old English game would win around 54% of the time. The stoat is an experienced and brutal killer, but it can't keep. But if it knows it's going to lose a fight, it's just going to run away. Now, stoats have been known to kill hens when they're sitting down, you know, nesting. But they usually don't take on the big boys, like, you know, the roosters and the bigger hens. Because they're that, because they know if they go up against them, he's going to get killed and going to get eaten. Because, yes, chickens can eat mice and other weasels. And smaller weasels, you know. So, if if the stoat knows that he's going to die, then he's just going to run away and book it. Anyways, yeah, the roost, but the rooster is going to win 54% of the time. But, hey, who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.